we've done with the new JL Wrangler. It's the perfect evolution of America's favorite off-roader. It's more rugged, more capable, and more stylish than ever. But how do Jeep engineers make the Wrangler even better? Put a bet on it. Jeep has been teasing the Gladiator since 2005, but they really wanted to perfect this truck using the new JL platform. Already you've got the Ranger, the Frontier, the Tacoma, so the Gladiator comes to market a little late, but it's loaded with everything you need in a truck this size. Let's talk about the Gladiator's most obvious feature, the bed. It's five feet long, which puts it on the smaller side compared to the optional six foot beds on Ranger, Colorado, and Tacoma. But its 1600 pound payload capacity means it can do more heavy lifting than all those trucks. The aluminum tailgate is light and has good damping, and the 49 inch entry width means you can load up things like dirt bikes, ATVs, and building materials pretty easily. If you've driven the new Wrangler recently, the experience in the Gladiator is pretty much the same. The bad news is its big steering and overly boosted nature makes it kind of sloppy on-road. But the good news is you get the same 3.6 liter V6 as the Wrangler that produces 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, which is plenty enough power for this truck. The Gladiator comes with a standard 7-inch touchscreen, but you'll want to opt for the larger 8.4-inch option pictured here. Loaded with FCA's baked-in Uconnect technology, it offers things like Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more. It's super responsive and easy to use. Jeep even says you can configure the home screen in more than 100 different ways depending on how you use it. Because of the 5-foot bed out back, one area where the Gladiator suffers a little bit is rear legroom. It's definitely cramped compared to other trucks. But Jeep makes up for lack of legroom with a nifty lockable storage compartment under the rear seat and more storage behind it. So right now we are off-road with the Gladiator and it feels like a much more competent vehicle on this tough terrain. We're in 4 high with traction control off and it kind of just glides over rocks and mud pretty easily. The steering here makes more sense because its vagueness on the road translates better to the dirt. So now we're in 4 low and we're getting into some really tough stuff. The mud here is pretty deep but the Gladiator again is handling it pretty easily. So. Is the Gladiator worth all the hype? Eh, yes and no. Everything great about the JL Wrangler carries over here, including off-road chops and rugged looks. But now you have more usability with a towing capacity of up to 7,650 pounds and a slightly better ride quality thanks to the extended wheelbase. Yes, the Jeep Gladiator is more than just a Wrangler with a bed, but it's the Wrangler qualities that define its personality.